Hi PBJ fam, Whitney here, one half of the Dietitian Mama duo here at Plant Based Juniors. Today we're talking about a micronutrient that you may not be too familiar with, but it turns out it's pretty important both during pregnancy and beyond. Choline. About 90 to 95% of pregnant women don't consume enough choline, regardless of their diet. Choline is a key nutrient for liver health, memory, mood, muscle control, and other brain and nervous system functions. And when it comes to pregnancy, it plays a crucial role in brain development. One study showed that getting enough choline, B12, and folate during the first and second trimesters of pregnancy increased memory and learning scores in seven-year-old children by 1.4 points after adjusting for other maternal characteristics. Proper choline intake may also help to reduce the risk of neural tube defects. Choline is made in small amounts in our liver, but not enough to avoid deficiency, which means that we need to get it from our diet. The RDA for women is 425 milligrams per day. This jumps to 450 milligrams during pregnancy and 550 milligrams when breastfeeding. Children between the ages of 1 and 13 need 200 to 375 milligrams per day. We recommend incorporating two to three servings of choline-rich foods a day to meet these needs. Choline is found in small amounts in most plants, but some of the best plant-based sources include soybeans with about 100 milligrams per half cup, wheat germ with about 50 milligrams per ounce, and kidney beans with 45 milligrams per half cup. If you follow a vegetarian diet, eggs are another rich source with about 150 milligrams each. If you aren't sure if you're meeting your choline needs through your diet, it's best to supplement. We actually recommend plant-based mamas-to-be and breastfeeding mamas supplement with about half of the RDA, just to be safe. Choline supplements aren't recommended for kids, though. Simply prioritize choline-rich foods in their diet. Now you may be wondering if you can have too much choline, and the answer is yes. Excess choline is mainly a concern with high-dose supplements, so don't exceed the RDA. But there is also a concern that eating a lot of choline can lead to an increased production of a compound associated with heart disease, known as TMAO. The good news is that it appears plant-based dieters may have a reduced capacity to produce TMAO compared to omnivores. Regardless though, during pregnancy, breastfeeding, and early childhood, the benefits of optimal choline intake clearly outweigh a potential risk. So make sure to get enough to support you and your babe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more evidence-based nutrition info for plant-based babes. And for more prenatal nutrition advice, be sure to check out our predominantly plant-based pregnancy guide. I'm Whitney, thanks for watching.